Step two, implement the detail activity. Okay, so this now create the detailed class. So right click on this package folder, click new and then select activity, empty activity, okay? Then let's rename this into detail activity. Leave all the default values as they are already selected and then click finish. Okay, and so here's the detailed activity, right? Step three, implement the detail layout file. Now let's modify the layout file. So command click on this layout file, uh, control click if you're on Windows, and this will take you straight to the layout file. Notice that it has nothing in there at the moment. So I am not going to uh, spend too much time on this one because I have previously explained all of these in detail in previous videos. For example, check this video right here. And so here's the code that you'll need, okay? So basically I'd like to have this layout file to build this nice user interface here, which basically has the movie protection here, the movie name, the movie genre, the movie picture, some description text, the price label, and finally the price value, okay? So let's go through each view uh, really quickly. So the first one is the movie uh, production here. So here we are. This text view basically produces this movie production here. So first of all, this text view has a unique ID, which is TV movie detail. Uh, I need this unique ID because I will reference this later from the source code, okay? And please note that the default position of any control or any view is top left. This property, which is layout align parent it, is set to true. So what happens if I delete this one? Yes, the text view goes back to the default position, which is top left, okay? But I want it to be there, so that's why I have set this property, which is the layout align parent end property, I have set it to true, okay? Right, the next text view is this text view, which basically produces the movie name. Again, it has a unique ID, because I would need to reference it later from the source code. And I notice that the layout center horizontal property is set to true, because I want it to be positioned horizontally center. Okay, so notice what would happen if I delete this. It goes back to the left position, which is the default position. Right. The next text view is the, this one, which is basically produces the movie genre, okay? Again, it has a unique ID, because I would need to reference it later from the source code. And notice that it has two direction properties. First of all, the layout below property is set to go below the movie name, okay? And also, I have set the layout center horizontal property to true. So again, what would happen if I just delete these two properties? It should go back to the default position which is top left, as you can see. Okay, so I'm going to retain these two properties back, and as you can see, the movie genre right now appears to go below the movie name, and, and is positioned horizontally center. Okay, next I'd like to talk about the image view, which is this one here. Again, it has a unique ID, because I would need to reference it later from the source code, and please note that the layout below property is set to go be is set to go below the movie genre. Okay, so it's below the movie genre. And it is again, the center horizontal property again is set to true. So what do you think is going to happen if I delete these two properties? Yes, it should go back to the default position, which is top left. Okay, so if I retain these two properties, it should go back to where I want it to go, which is right below the movie genre. And now I'd like to talk about the scroll view, which is interesting because I think I'm talking about it for the first time. So first of all, why would I need the scroll view? Notice that this scroll view, the opening tag is here and the closing tag is here. Notice that this nice little thing in here actually is part of the opening tag. Okay, so don't forget that. Now within the scroll view, I have a text view, which is basically produces this description text. So why would I want to have scroll view? Well, basically, what happens if I have too much description text? So this description text is meant to describe uh, this movie in here. And this description text could really run pretty long. And if I have too much text, it could cover the other uh, views, the other text in there. So what I did was, 
is basically to have this description text to go within the scroll view. So to make sure that the text, the description text in here, to never go beyond the scroll view. Notice that scroll view, this is the border of scroll view, which is basically above the price label in here. And that's why I have this layout above in here. So it goes above the price, so it never ever overwrites these buttons in here. And it is below the image view. So that's where I have the scroll view. The position for scroll view is below the image in there and above the price label in here. So as you can see, it's above the price label and it's below the image detail. All right. And the next thing is this text view, which is basically displays this label in here, the price label. Again, it has a unique ID because I would need to reference it later from the code. And notice that this is interesting. It is actually positioned right to the bottom. So that's why I have a layout align parent bottom set to true. Okay. And so what would happen do you think if I take this property away? Again, the price label would should go back to the default position, which it did by the way. Top left. Top left. So if I return this position, it would go down to the bottom there. And finally, here's a text view which produces the price value itself. So again, it has a unique ID because I would need to reference it later from the source code, okay? And it has two position properties. First of all, it's positioned right to the bottom. That's why I have layout align beyond bottom set to true. And finally, it is to the right or to the end of the price label. Okay, so notice what would happen if I delete this label in here. So notice that the price value right now overwrites the price label. So, of course, I don't want that, so I would return the, uh, the layout to end of property. And what do you think is going to happen if I delete these two? Well, the price value should go back to the default position, which is top left, which it does. There we are. So I don't want it to be appear there. I want it to be positioned right in here, so I would return back these properties back to there. And that's the end of the layout file. Thank you, and happy coding.